Big cities like Bangkok, with their infamous traffic jam, have turned into important environmental pollution factors of today's world. This is one of the main reasons behind Thai government's plan to get prepared for launching the second phase of the Green Industry Development Project from 2012 to 2014. The project is aimed at carrying carbon footprint labels on 700 products. It will put the focus on 30 industries to adopt a green production mechanism with zero impact on the environment. We are now the region's leader in green manufacturing. Thailand is the third in Asia after South Korea and Japan. The government goals is to become the major supplier of green products to the global market and the European Union. Some regions in Thailand have already adopted wind turbine as their main source of energy. Others, like these farmers, have adopted solar energy to dry their crops. In a tropical country where the solar power is the dominant energy source throughout the year, adopting a green manufacturing system seems the best energy strategy. Our business is modest, but thanks to a special loan, we have reduced the carbon footprint of it to keep the air clean and live in harmony with our environment. It's expensive, but we see it as an investment. The green economy's first step of development, which started in 2007 until 2010, focused on carrying a label for the carbon footprint on 65 products. The government has spent $24 million to support the project. The green economy will be part of the free trade negotiations between Thailand and the European Union. Bangkok, a bustling Asian city, is the image of a fast developing country and continent. But will the green industry project finally find a balance between growth and sustainable future remains to be seen. Sonia Laboon, Press TV, Bangkok.